was going to do this with the camera. I didn't really get to it, so I figured out phone will work just as well. As you see, it's 3.55. Get ready for the airport. Let's get ready and go. Already we made it through the security checkpoint, which was really weird. I haven't done that in like six years, so that was rather strange. And now we are headed to, I believe, C5 to wait before we take off for Atlanta. And then I'll explain the whole reason for that too. So we're headed to Atlanta for helping my sister. She needs to get a fence built. And I'm gonna go help her and then as we're just traveling, never been that far back east before, so that would be really cool. Let me turn this around. There was a time when you had me fall into the ground Like a king without a crown Whoa. Why you make it hard? Alrighty, so we just ended up getting off at the Minnesota airport I hit up some of that, that Chick-fil-A for breakfast since it only is, I guess it's technically 10, 21 here, so that's pretty cool. And I have about 2 hours and 50 minutes, now I'm just wandering around looking for stuff and yeah, I mean other than that, that's pretty much all I've been doing, I was just looking for some pretty cool stuff. We might go back this way. See if we can find like a postcard or something. Alright, looks like we are about to go on our second flight to Atlanta. Then we're really over for another two. Ladies and gentlemen, travel to Atlanta so. flight to 1289. My name is Stephanie. Thank, Thank you so much. Assigned at gate. Just use that to board, it'll spit your seat number out. To reduce or I mean, it's not too loud, so you guys can easily hear me. I know it's kind of weird wearing the whole face mask and thing, but just the top is weird. But this is pretty cool. I know I have earbuds in it, but I'm not actually like to hold them on. I'm just kind of get straight over there and chill on. So it's where it gates would be now. So I just checked it. 
Look at the artwork. Nice little slot in the way. Alright, so I kind of just wanted to actually give you guys an idea of what it takes to build this fence. So each of those panels is 7 feet 8 inches between each of the vertical posts. And when you do it, you have to dig one and then you have to set it in concrete. And you run a t bottom rail and top rail, which are both at the top and bottom of the vertical beams. And then all the little slats between actually slide in. So then you slide all of them in. So then you actually use the bottom rail to measure where you dig the next hole. And you dig it about 24 inches in the ground. That's what it has to be in the ground. And you put about 3 inches of gravel is what we did. And then once you put the gravel in, you can put the post in and you can put the bottom rail in. And put all the stuff on the thing. Then you slide the top rail on at the end. Put it together, cement the next post. So that's kind of like the process that goes to building this fence. And then, of course, as you see in these things, we had a floating fence, so then we had to use pressure-treated OSB and rip it down to size to fit inside, along with some bolts to make it work. So that was kind of just the idea of how we built the fence, and it was quite a bit of work. Already mixing up, there's a picture of that, and we're headed back to see you later in Georgia. It's been nice. Already hooked in the middle of the fly house, so the trees are going to fly out. So we're going to run out. Now we are taking the forever to get each one of our things. And then on the next fly house. Let's go. So I just actually want to practice this outro and say thank you guys for watching. I know it wasn't anything too fun but i had fun doing it and it wasn't too bad it was a lot of work but 
glad I got the opportunity to fly out there since that's the farthest east I've ever been. We actually never did anything too good. Like, the only one time we did, we went and got, like, snow cones, other than all of our trips to Home Depot. And honestly, if I, with some of those times I had my phone, some of those times I didn't, and it just wasn't worth the effort of trying to vlog every individual trip we made since it was just all for defense and everything. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys again for watching this, and if you guys did like, maybe we can do these in the future. Thank you guys so much, and yeah, peace.